guys and girls. Um, this is basically just what you get with the camera. Um, I've done a couple of rides with it. I'm not too happy with the audio, but I'm still trying to work that out. Right. Here's the camera. Oh, you see that? C double O A U. Kuau Kuau Kuau. Um, the camera itself is a good little camera. From what I've used of it so far, you've already seen one video with me using it. Um, it doesn't come with this. This is something I'm trying out at the moment. There is my old, my old one, my Muson. As you can see, very, very similar looks wise. Let's take it out of this. Very similar. Very, very similar. The only difference being, obviously, you've got the microphone um, port. What I will say about this, though, is the field of view. A field of view is, it's not really all that good, as I will now show you. Right, so, this one. We all love the motion. This is a new one. Put them on top of each other. As you can see, the field of view. So that's what I don't like about it. But I'm trying different ways to mount it on my helmet. Um, and another thing that I don't really like about it as well, which is the reason why that's there, is the um when you use the external mic which I'll show you how I've got that in my helmet in a minute um it it takes audio from the mic but still takes it from the uh, internal microphone which is why that's on there I'm gonna say I'm trying different trying all different ones out that comes with a brand new waterproof case. <coughs> now to try and get round the the can't use a microphone with this case, obviously, otherwise it won't be waterproof. Um so with it being the same as my old one, buttons in the same place and all that lot. There's the waterproof housing for my old one which isn't waterproof anymore because put it in and drill the hole because I thought, right when noise external mic uh, internal microphone straight in the case no, didn't help one bit if anything it made it worse I think so I won't be getting used now obviously it comes with a little carry bag which Ah, it's not soft, not soft at all. I can see lens getting a bit, uh, bit knackered with that. Um, so at the moment, I'm using this uh, case for it. I've got it on the upside down. So I did have it on my chin upwards, but that's. But that, that field of view, it's, it's not really all that good like that. So, next time I go out on my bike, that's why I put it this way. It's going to go on my chin like that. Hopefully, you'll be able to see a bit better. And with that on, well, that is a bit of a cat's toy. <laughs> Just cut the tail off. The other side is sticky tape. Stuck on over the external micro, uh, internal microphone. Sorry. So, we'll give that a go. The uh, usual stuff comes with the usual stuff. Your, uh, your wire, a couple of zip ties, extra sticky pads. But them sticky pads aren't really all that good. Uh, 
You've got your lens cleaning cloth. Um, just your usual odds and shots, usual mounts, a few of them, your tripod mount. Um, it comes with the remote, this one, which doesn't turn it on. That's not waterproof. So if you want to use underwater, then do not use this underwater. Right. So as, as you can see, I've got it on the upside down. So it points at me like that. Now, whatever mode you're in on the camera, that's on video mode at the moment. The red one is to take a faulty, so I'll press that. Takes a faulty. And then it see it's gone back and it's gone into well you can't really see it, but it's gone into photo, uh, photo mode. And you just press the video button and voila, it's recording the video. You stop it again, just press it again. Now, this remote has now come in handy. Um, comes with straps as well for, uh, for your remote. There you go, you just feed it through and whatnot. But I will be using them. Because um, with my jackets, when I have my jackets, my gloves on, I have my jacket over my gloves. Uh, and then when I velcro them up, it leaves a bit of soft velcro, the soft side. So all I've done is cut one of them straps up, stuck some of the rough velcro on the back, the double sided sticky tape. And then when I'm going, when I get on, stick it on like that, just to pretend that's velcro. And as I'm going along, when I want to start, hit it, then off. Great bit of kit, but like I say, it's not waterproof. <coughs> Obviously, it comes with all your, your normal mounts as well. But I say, them sticky pads aren't the best. Um, you got another back door. This one's got a slit down the sides for better audio. Obviously, it's not waterproof, it's just water resistant, then, isn't it? Um, you get, this is a little clip, got one here out of my old camera. There we go. Just a little clip like that. And there's one I prepared earlier. Just goes on the back of one of them cages. So, you can, obviously you won't do any good there, but you can clip it onto your shelf on the belt or filming over here, clip it onto something here. That's how I do the videos in my shed. I've got a piece of bar that comes off. Let's clip it on that. Um, obviously you get your charging cable, which is your bog standard micro USB. Um, and the bar mounts. Uh, then there's this, the clip for the microphone. Now the batteries. You get two batteries, and they are um, twelve hundred, three point eight, three point eight five volts, twelve hundred milliamp hours um, I, I haven't had one dead yet to be honest so, so I just stop start stop start never, never really out for that long long enough to run a battery dead so you get two of them um, the one thing you don't get though is a battery charger now this is one out of my old um, camera and luckily enough it's in, charge it up, I'll charge one up, charge the batteries up with this um, when I got it as well. So, you know that works. But that also means <coughs> that the two batteries from the old camera fit in the new one. So now I've got four batteries, but these ones are only 900 amp hours, 3.7 volts. So obviously it's not as good, but it's always handy to have extra batteries, isn't it? Um, then you get this little watch style battery for um, the remote. Now, to change the battery in the remote, you've got four screws, 
take that off, take the back off. And there's another four that you've got to undo. Um, it was a manual. To be able to change it, you've got to pull it all back together. Now this is the manual. It's quite thick. It's got six different languages, I think. Let's have a look. Yeah, six different languages. English, Dutch, Spanish, French, Italian, and Chinese. Right, get to the part with the battery, the remote. And if if my phone will focus on here we go. If my phone will focus on it, then uh, I'll show you. <coughs> See there? You got you take the uh, more screws out. Focus, come on. And then there's another four there, there, there and there. We just take out, and then, yeah, so that's how you change that. <clears throat> now, the manual itself, the English manual, in English, I've looked at them all, they're all about the same thickness, it's only that thick. Look how thick the rest of it is. So you've got that, times six. And then you've got a load of uh, all the blank pages. I don't like one blank pages for all like, but yeah. Now I read this manual. It does give you quite a good um, understanding of it. it. Tells you what app to download and <coughs> how to use that. It gives you the password and everything. Um, well, I'll go and get my helmet. And just like that, we're back. Here's my helmet, right? So obviously, that'd be going in there like that. And then the microphone. Where is it? There it is. This microphone lead. Turn it on, make sure you can see. That'll just plug into there. No. Excuse me. Well, I'm betting, burping now. Fat the other day. Um, yeah, so what I've done with the microphone is. Which side is it? Which side? See that bit of uh, white there? That's the microphone. Now, it doesn't come with that on it. That's a dead cat that I made out of all the cat's toys again. It's quite sad when cat is from all the toys. Um, the rest of the microphone wire is there. Now, I've used some of the strap again. Stuck on the side of my helmet with the double side sticky tape. So I can just stick that in out the way. Um, as I say, I'm still trying out the. Uh, I'm still trying out um, the audio with it. Because if I can't get rid of. The horrendous wind noise then I'm afraid I'll have to go back to using my headphones and in case anyone's wondering what that is that's um, an ice thing in case of emergency well as you just little tabby you pull back you pull it out it's got um, your name uh, your name your date of birth Basically anything you need in an emergency. Your um, next of kin's phone number. Um, any medical info. Whereas mates, asthma, diabetes. Yeah. So it's always good to have that. Um, so I'm still trying it out. But I had it. I say, when I used it the other day to record on my head when I was doing my wheels. That was with the microphone clip to there, clip to me top. Uh, good audio, good visuals. I'll show you that. They're the only two things I don't like about this, is the fact that when you're um, plug the microphone in, it still takes audio from the internal microphone. 
which I'd prefer to swap. So there's that, and there's the um, field of view, which is not that good. I think that's got a 170 field of view angle, I think. Let's just see. Yeah, it is. It is a 140. <coughs> but when you, um, yeah, turn it on again. It's slightly wider on picture mode. So there's your, your video mode. Uh, you press the mode button. And it's slight, not very much, but it is slightly wider. Which is a bit weird. Why couldn't you just have, have the video that wide as well? But hey ho. Yeah, so that's it. That's that's it really, yeah. Um as I say I've recorded a couple of videos. I haven't been too happy with them with the audio only view angle. But as I say I'm trying to sort all that out. Hence why I put that on. And why I've moved the microphone from there to there. Because when I use my headphones and I sync them up, that's usually where the microphone sits and we get good audio with that, but yeah, we'll see. Right. See you guys in the next one. Ta da!